first we'll set the laser on the, on the floor stand. We'll set up a target in the beam. Notice I have the target coming out the side of the, and I'm gonna adjust the height of the target so the beam's in the center. Now I need to go through a course alignment when I'm doing this, visual. So I set it up, I'm gonna move the target to the far end of the, of the rail, and then I'm manually gonna turn this turret to see where the beam's hitting on the target. And I can, I'm not even hitting the target, I'm so far off. I can see it on the back wall. So I'm gonna turn this, loosen the magnet, and I'm gonna adjust this until I'm on the face of the target. Bring this back up here, and I'm gonna adjust the height of the target again. All I wanna do is be able to hit the target in the window on both ends of this, and then I can work a formula and I can buck this in. It was pretty close. I'm gonna... Now I know I'm gonna hit the target in both positions. And I'm gonna level this laser. I'll set another target on here. Now that I have the laser level, and I'm gonna turn these two turrets on. Now I'll get numbers on the readout. For This is target number one, this is target number four. I'm gonna make these read zero. I'm gonna buck this side plane in. I'm gonna, what we call the buck in, like what you've seen in the two point buck in. I'm gonna buck this plane into this rail this way and I'm gonna keep the laser level. I'm not gonna buck it in this way because I wanna adjust these rails to be level. Okay, so I'm at zero here. I'm gonna take this to the far end and get my far reading. My far reading is plus 10 thousandths. Minus two thousandths is my set point. I'm gonna use the yaw adjust and I'm gonna adjust my target number one to minus two thousandths. I can see that this is way out of level. So on an actual machine, we would actually level this roll as well. So now this beam is parallel to that. I'm gonna recheck my levels. And I want to double check my numbers, make sure I'm still zero. And I'm zero. And now, because I know this is parallel to this rail, we can actually move this over the top of each leveler or each adjustment, and we could physically make adjustments to bring this to zero all the way down so we're actually leveling the rail and we're actually straightening the rail uh, at the same time. So I'm gonna take target number three and using this beam, I'm gonna place this target down here on the floor. And I'm gonna level this Target number two, and I'm gonna place that one. I want these targets facing the same direction. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna set this into that beam. And I'm gonna level this one. Turn on this beam. So now I have targets two and three on the floor, and I'll make both of those zero. So two and three are now my reference targets. Those targets are perpendicular to this rail. So when I move this over, I use these as a reference 
and I can check this to be parallel. So originally I'm gonna leave this truck on here. I call this a truck because I want my, I wanna make this target zero when I come over here to this rail. So I have this set at the same height as this rail. Then I know I'll be parallel in this direction. And I want to get this hitting in the center of each of these targets or somewhere close. You know, they're both reading 99 or 100. Because I've made a, a slight move with the base, I'm going to reset the levels. And I'm going to make that target read zero. Because I'm going to move this from here to over here, and I want the same height here as I have here. The laser's level. No, take the target. It's zero. So I'm going to move that, what I call a truck, from this rail to this rail. When I bring this over here, I can see this, this is lower than that rail. So I would actually raise that up using the adjusters, moving this from position to position. But now I'm gonna turn this target in this direction. Adjust the height. And now because this is set up to these, the laser's level, this beam is now parallel to what it was over there. So I can turn on this beam and I can make target number one zero and move this to different positions and adjust the, the straightness and the parallelism and the levelness of this rail to that rail. And I can see, oh, if I come down to this end, I can see Right off the top from end to end, this rail's within seven thousandths of that rail. If I come to different positions, again, we can check the straightness and the levelness, all with the laser setting here, and then we'll be finished setting this machine up. We're ready to put the bridge on. So that completes the rail alignment of a gantry mill.